this is Blas here and welcome to this lesson. Today we'll go through the warp effects. We will skip the SDG filters because they are ugly and no professional designer tends to use them. So uh, let's test the first one called arc. You can see this makes an arc and you can change the value like this. You can change the horizontal distortion if you want or the vertical one and so on. Then you get arc lower. Similar effects, so let's we see this. And you can see what's going on. You can make very cool shapes with this. Same controls for F between. Then you can distort horizontal or vertical as well. And so on. The next one is arc upper. Just the opposite. This one is called arch. So you can bend around. Same for vertical. Basically, is a combination of arc low and upper. Then you have bulge. Shell lower. This one is pretty interesting. You can make it vertical as well. And see what happens. You can also adjust those. Shell upper. Flag. And you can, of course, you can distort it. Wave. Fish. Then you got to rise, similar to a flag. Fish eye. Inflate, squeeze, twist, and so on. Okay, now uh, I could give you just a quick overlook of the SVG filters. So let uh, me choose something like this. They are very processive intensive, so you can it take ages to load, even on a fast machine. That's the first downside. And you get something like this, which is, uh, well, I don't know who uses it, but just a quick idea of what you're going to get. One more, let's say turbulence. And that's it, you get an idea what you're getting. I don't know who would use them, but who knows, you might have this uh, secret uh, weird project you're working on. Okay, thank you and see you in the next lesson.